harm. So far I haven't been hit by falling coconuts. Bonjour from my little hotel here in Sally's Senegal. Today is the day. The day to head to our final destination, Dakar, Senegal. This tag for sure. sure got me backpack, passport and visas. Heading out of Melbourne for the first time in years. By planes, buses, trains and cars. I'm heading from Dhaka to Dakar. Yes, you heard me right. We are finally heading to Dakar, Senegal. And um, I've gone with my own little car today because I've got to tell you it's the end of the trip and I deserve it. It's costing me a little under 100 Australian dollars, maybe about 60 US and um, yeah it's less than 100k. I have come from Dakar, Bangladesh over 20,000 kilometers and all I have left is approximately 88 kilometers so yeah and then of course we'll have a look around Dakar because that's the whole point of going. Okay folks my car is here. And we are off, folks. The final trip. One of the shortest. Au revoir, Sally. really like Sally. Sleepy little town. It is Ramadan though. And folks, we're on the road to Dakar, the Senegalese capital here in West Africa. Uh, and in this vlog, join me as I make my way to the capital city. And then I'm going to uh, visit the island of Nagor, Ile de Nagor, which I'm planning to do later in the day. Um, and this will be the second last vlog. Uh, so we won't count this as the official completion of the journey just yet. That will come in the final vlog. Well, folks, welcome to Dakar. At least the outer suburbs. They just hit a bump in the road here. There's a huge traffic jam trying to get off the freeway. If we can. Just around the corner from the Airbnb and the driver's uh, been pulled over by the police. Don't know, he wasn't displaying the right thing on his windshield I think. Okay folks, we are here. Back up. Merci. Okay, merci. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. Okay.
Well, there's the view from the uh, Airbnb window here in central Dakar. 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 Yeah, folks, we're bloody well here, mate. Well, folks, we're here in Dakar. We made it. And uh, you know what? Before, uh, before we celebrate, uh, I want to get out there because I only got three days. Today, uh, I want to get down to or up to the island of Nagore, which is uh, a popular beach spot. Also, uh, apparently good for surfing. Just have a little look-see at the island. See, yes, the seas are back. CCC, let's do it. To get to Ile de Nagore, I had to take a taxi out to the suburb of Nagore where I would take a frequent boat across the waters to the island which is clearly visible from the mainland. Well folks, here we are, this little island just off the coast of uh, Dakar, Ile de Nagore. And uh, apparently that's not how you say it, but it's the best I can do, <laughs> sorry. Um, apparently it's very popular for surfers, but obviously not right here at this point where the waves are crashing into rocks. But um, maybe just over there. And uh, look, there's some pretty big waves. There's a little fishing boat out there doing their best, I guess. This island is uh, definitely for the tourists, although it certainly appears to have a colonial past as well. Not sure what that's all about. So yeah, you get, the island doesn't appear to have any the he calls on it. It's all walking. They didn't even see a bike. And lots of hotels. tide and it's not the right time for surfing I just talked to a guy
over there. You've got Nagore, the suburb of Dakar. Over here, bars and restaurants and uh, everything. There's many artists on the gore and Abdul Razak is, is uh, he likes cubism oui, and uh, surreal. Show me, this is a cubist painting here and here this is uh, Mama Africa, Mama Afrique, some beautiful, so if you come to Senegal come and see Abdul, he's got some beautiful African uh, paintings. Oh, it's a really nice little place, hey? And uh, just to pop over from Dakar for a few hours or you can stay on the island in many hotels and, and chill. So if you're trying to get away from the city life, Nagore could be the place for you. Plenty more in Dakar to see though, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for joining me in this penultimate vlog of the Dakar to Dakar journey. In a few days, the final vlog will be up. Vlog 52, 21,610 kilometers traveled. And it comes down to this. As I head to Place d'Independence in the center of Dakar to declare I have made it. Thanks for watching this vlog. See you on the next one. Please take the time to subscribe. It really helps to support the channel. Take care wherever you are in the world. May the journey never end.